Over the years, technology has transformed the way we view experiences, making them easily consumable and enjoyable to share with the world. The internet is now the major source of power for all, and so during our research and planning stages for the film's teaser trailer, the group would spend hours surfing the internet, whether it was watching teaser trailers on YouTube that were of a similar genre to take inspiration from, or search for posters and magazine covers on Google that showcase similar codes and conventions in relation to our ideas. With my planning and research stages, I heavily relied on key research methods, which included storyboards, scripts, ca character sketches, etc. At this point, I became aware of how important the use of media technology is in terms of gaining knowledge to add to the planning and research stages of the film. As mentioned in my blog, I was not aware of how the script for a teaser trailer is composed. Therefore, media technologies like YouTube and Google allowed me to explore my creativity and expand my knowledge of pre-production as I came across a website called scriptsecrets.net that provided me with a follow-through process of how the script for specifically a teaser trailer is prepared. I designed the draft script manually and the final script electronically in order, to fit, in order for it to be easily transferable onto my Weebly website. Weebly was unquestionably the prime resource for accounting all the planning and research development. Not only did it enable the group, my group and I to gather all the information for the teaser to refer back to, but it also allowed us to develop a weekly account of the entire production and evaluation process of the coursework in the form of a blog. As a group, we ensured that we utilized the social media platform well enough to achieve a substantial coverage for our film and make audiences aware of our concept. SurveyMonkey.net is a website that allows to digitally create surveys and questionnaires of various kinds, which we use to our advantage. We generated a survey consisting of 10 questions that inquired random people on what they prefer experiencing digitally when going to watch a horror film, since the genre of our film is horror. Likewise, when the final product had been created and uploaded onto YouTube, we conducted a survey using the same website, surveymonkey.net, and spread the survey across various social media platforms consisting of Facebook, Twitter, and WhatsApp in order to collect a significant and miscellaneous opinion of our film's teaser trailer. In today's day and age, digital media has become so advanced that all technology devices related to it have been conveniently compressed, especially for the filmmaking sector. Most cameras and mobile phones generate HD quality images and videos which provide independent and creative filmmakers like us with the opportunity to present our media skills to audiences whilst offering guaranteed refined quality. We used the Samsung Galaxy camera to film our entire teaser trailer that provided us with video capture at resolutions up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. Considering the level we were producing at, the camera allowed us to make the teaser appear as professional as possible with the kind of HD resolution it was offering. Once all the footage for the teaser had been filmed to our liking, I had to install a software called Kai's, specifically designed for Samsung products that allows to convert all images and videos onto your computer directly, a procedure not possible otherwise because the camera does not feature an SD card slot and all the media is only transferable via Bluetooth connection to the software. Following this process, we began editing the teaser using Final Cut Pro X an editing software that allows direct importing, organizing, editing, grading, and delivering professional high-quality videos. The high-quality rendering in Final Cut Pro makes it possible to compute realistic effects with extraordinary precision using floating point, linear light color, and space calculations. As I enjoy editing and consider it to be one of the most imperative aspects of producing a film, I devoted most of my time to it in order to achieve a high quality and level for the final product. With the experience I had with Final Cut Pro, there were no issues as such that disrupted the process of editing. However, sound has always been a department in which I like precision. When I obtained the sound effects and background scores fit for the trailer through an official royalty-free sound website, incompetent.com, I knew that the music had to be mixed and adjusted to create this desired effect, which is precisely why we left it till the end. Cutting and blending the sound was the most time-consuming part of editing, and it was potentially the most crucial because horror movie trailers, or horror movies for that matter, rely on sound the most to create the horrifying effect. Along with the edit for the film, we had to produce an evaluation using Final Cut Pro to display a higher level of creativity and understanding of the software. Through the evaluation, we had to explain the process of producing our film and what potential issues we faced, like, as mentioned above, the sound during the editing or collecting audience feedback via digital survey. As per the evaluation, we planned as a group on keeping it straightforward, yet sustaining an adequate level of creativity 
that allowed us to avoid any major issues like sound mixing or adding effects. Along with the teaser trailer, the course consisted, consisted of us producing a poster and magazine cover which we could obtain using Photoshop. Photoshop allows to edit and create digital images in more than 15 popular formats by using the built-in tools or download plugins to add special effects to pictures. We used Photoshop to obtain the correct professional look we wanted for both the poster and the magazine. Having the built-in tools allowed us to directly import the original image taken with a Nikon DSLR that offered automatic white balance accuracy and in-camera processing of JPEG images onto Photoshop. The imported image can then be modified and adjusted using tools like the background eraser, which enable to remove the green screen image from behind the subject instantly, the sharpen and blur tool that allowed us to erase any outlines that made the respective text look unprofessional, or the color adjustment tools to change the appearance of a certain image to ensure it fit with the genre and concept of our film. We use download plugins like a smoke, smoke effect for the poster obtained from the website stockclip.com that permits the free use of primordial footage. We took a screenshot of the desired density we wanted for the smoke and imported it directly onto the image itself. Likewise, for the magazine, we downloaded various images of horror films, actors and directors from Google and placed them onto the cover to give it a more professional ethos and raise the production value of our film. Thanks for being with us today. Guys, we hope the film attains huge success.